<laughs> this is really uh, an exciting time, and uh, I'd like to thank Peter for his leadership, Matt for his leadership, uh, leadership at the state level, Senator Moran, and the county officials that are here, and I guess uh, Representative Flanagan's here too. And uh, a lot of people before us uh, were responsible for what we're celebrating here today. 50 years in this instance, uh, I think more than many, is representative, measured not in years, but by the people that are here. And I just want to thank all the people that are working now, but also the people that have worked in the past, that have retired, that came here today and, and, and helped build what is a very important uh, program going into the future. Um, usually you look back at these instances, but in this instance, it's really more important and appropriate to be looking forward as we look at the 50 year mark. And, uh, if you look at the only analogy I can think in our country's history uh, that's on point is when they had the land grant uh, colleges that were in place. What they did for our economy, they date back over 100 years. They took the agriculture in industry uh, that moved our country forward, that led further settlement all through the country, uh, that, that prospered our country economically. And it was that research, that education, and that work that helped bring our country's economy uh, and prosperity forward. But today, uh, the grand uh, point of exploitation and exploration both is uh, the ocean. Uh, we look to the ocean in so many respects. As we look at uh, El Nino uh, upon us again and the effects that's gonna have in terms of climate change and, and how it's affecting us. Uh, if we were in New York, we could look out the window uh, and see uh, very visibly, even in DC, you could see at the end of the day uh, what's going on in terms of the effect of climate change and the wildfires and how it's affecting us. And the oceans are pivotal. Uh, they're at the forefront of all of this activity. Uh, we uh, have the ability here, we're so proud of the institutions that are here, so proud of the Sea, uh, sea Grant program and everything that uh, it represents because it's doing it at so many levels, uh, research, education. It's generational uh, in, in its education, what it's passing on. It, it affects our health, uh, it affects our economy, our livelihood going forward, and it's not an exaggeration to say even our very existence on this planet uh, with this type of research. Uh, we can look at uh, many aspects of it, and it was, uh, I really appreciate Matt taking me around and seeing just you know some of the work that's being done and some of the studies that are being done. Uh, and, and also, I think it was important to, to have here uh, the, the original stewards of our environment uh, who uh, culturally uh, uh, give us one of the most important lessons we can. Uh, and that's the Wampanoag uh, tribe and the in, in indigenous community. When I was at the last COP meeting, uh, one of the greatest areas of compensation uh, worldwide is how to make sure the indigenous communities around the globe are part of our climate uh, solution. And, and we can certainly look at the partnership and the lessons and, uh, and, and the counsel and advice we've had uh, from our own uh, tribe here uh, and, and say how important that is. Only we should adopt and take their uh, legacy of concern for the environment and make sure we're incorporating that at the level that they did and they continue to do. So uh, these, these grants not only uh, are substantive in terms of research, education, but they're very practical. And I just want to point out a couple of things of the many we could. There's scores of uh, uh, different projects and research that are going on, but a couple of them sort of bring it home to me, I think, in a, in a profound sense. One of them is the work with the, uh, the new work that's going to be done looking at Cape Cod Bay and looking at uh, the water pathways, uh, as Senator Moran knows, uh, with the possible introduction, hopefully not, uh, of 1.1 million uh, gallons uh, of radioactive water in Cape Cod Bay, uh, it really is important to see what's happening in the surface, what's happening in the residue of that, what's happening with the species there and how they can, and what better uh, place to study that than right here and get that information before a mistake is made that can't be corrected later on. Uh, yeah. Thank you for that. And then uh, the work that's being done 
uh, in terms of uh, flood research. You know, something that's going to be valuable, I think, uh, not just here in this region, but around the country as we see uh, how we're trying to cope with a, a really enormous problem uh, of flooding that we've seen throughout our whole country. We're here in a very coastal area and we see the effects on the coast, we see the effects uh, inland, but we see the effects economically. And one, of, one small area in the county uh, adopted something that I uh, was very uh, interested and in, hopeful that they would do, uh, and that's dealing with the issue, the CRS issue. Uh, and you know, so far, their work just in this short period of time has helped 4,000 uh, families here in Cape Cod Two and a half million dollars have been saved. So we see how the research uh, of this uh, really takes place in our, our daily lives. The growing agriculture industry here, one of the fastest growing industries we have uh, in our country, and particularly in this region, how important their research is. Uh, not only to make sure that can be done efficiently, just like that early uh, land grant kind of research, uh, engineered what farmers should do and the best approaches. We're doing that here in that important growth industry as well. These are the very substantive things that translate into the good work that's being done here. Uh, but I'll leave you with a thought that uh, I think is the most encouraging of everything else. And that's the work uh, that's being done incorporating this knowledge into young students uh, and the educational work that's done. Because we have failed in a large degree in our generation to step up to the plate and meet some of the goals, and we're going to need the generation that comes after us to do more. And the important work that's being done here is not only to educate people, but to inspire these young people to get involved and to be a part uh, of the solution. Uh, and I can see it here. I can see it with the young PhDs that are around uh, this place, and I can see it with uh, the programs that are there. Uh, even in the earliest of grades, so that they can make people aware of, and the importance of this, make them interested, make them part of the solution going forward. So we have a lot to celebrate uh, looking back. We have more to celebrate as we look forward to the challenges and how this program is going to help meet those challenges. So congratulations on 50 years. Keep up the good work.